Very subdued in the St Kilda rooms before we meet the coaches. We don't know how Mick's going to be. Obviously, he'll be very, very disappointed. Ross Lyon, well, we're not expecting too much more from Ross than what we usually get. It'll be lids on until they play again in the primary final. We'll talk to you after the press conferences. Were the players shell shocked after the game, Mick? With the, you, you play a pretty intense brand of footy, but it always goes up that extra little bit more in the finals. Your players a little bit scarred after this performance. How do you rejuvenate them for shell shocked? Yeah, well, for they were four hundred thirty nine touches to oh, two seventy five. Uh, I think, Robbie, you got to if you're going to go by stats. You're surprised. Well, I'm actually talking that? about the game. I mean, yeah, they well, were. If you ask me the question, yeah. you want me to answer the question, yep. or you want to carry on? No, ask the question. No, no, no I'm, I'm, but you, you mentioned stats. How do you rejuvenate this team? How do how well, do you mentally get them back over this performance today? That's that's the art of the the individual and the and the courage of the individual. Now, we're we're not going to be the first side that's ever lost a qualifying final, and you want to recover and you want to get back in there. We have got and, and, and have earned the right because we finished in the top four to play another game. And that's, that's, that's incentive enough. Can you just talk to us about Nick Rewalt's game and Nick Rewalt's especially his second, his second quarter? What did he kick? I think he kicked kick five, five goals, one. No, he, his, yeah, performance no, in the, he did, his performance in the yeah, second look, quarter. Well, I just think... Look, well, <laughs> Club land, we, we focus on the team and the roles, and, and clearly Nick is a premier player for us, but continually you, you get put up and analysed and dissected, and, and sometimes it's a little unfair and puts undue pressure on, but, but guess what, that's AFL and that's the industry, and he responded in kind today. Two weeks off now, they'll be betting down at the St Kilda camp, absolutely no doubt about that. And we just heard from Mick Malthouse, a bit calm actually. After the game, lamented, couldn't get their hands on the ball, lamented, thrashed in the midfield, lamented. Game of Nick Rewell, criticised in part Simon Pester, Giacomo's performance, but uh, they go away, lick their wounds, they'll be back, and we'll be back here next week at sydneyfooty.com.au.